Hey Taurus, how's it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out Truly Divine's channel, what is up? My name is Amy. If you are returning, welcome back. Definitely a great message to say the least for you guys for the 16th to the 30th. So with that, let's just get started. Two oracle cards came up for you. First one says the angel of spon spon spontaneity. <laughs> I choose to be spontaneous in my interactions with life. When we feel, or sorry, when we free ourselves from limiting beliefs and values, the spiritual energy flows through us naturally. Without the inhibitions that imprison our minds and hearts, we develop an inability to tune into the essence within people and things and dissipate the fear and emotions that block us from being spontaneous. The precious, precious of spontaneity is something present in nature and flow as a gift of love. All right, so be spontaneous. And the angel of partnership. Each one I meet is my partner in the here now of life. When there is partnership, there is no domination. The parts involved in a same situation share their abilities and talents to create a shared goal, to walk together towards that goal, aware of the process it implies. Is true partnership opposite discovering that they are absolutely complementary? Hmm. So for you guys, it's about spont being spontaneous and just realizing that I feel like with a partnership, what they're saying is that there's a reason for everyone you meet, whether it's a good experience or bad. So just keep that in mind for the second half of August. Like um, anyone new that's coming in and anyone is that's leaving, there's always going to be a reason why these people come in. All right. So Taurus, I feel like you guys could be in this place right now where you have recently separated from someone or someone has left your life. I don't want to say it's death. I don't want to say you guys have lost a loved one, but if you have my condolence to you, um, because the family issues is coming up strong. So it could be that with the three of swords coming up for your first card, um, I feel, though, that for some of you, or majority of you, it's about losing a partner, losing someone in your life. And I feel like losing this person has really brought you to your knees. I feel like you're not the same person that you were. Um, I, I feel like a lot of heartache, like my heart hurts. Like I feel sad. I feel lost. I feel confused. I'm feeling like I can't express how I feel. So I, this isn't me for sure. Um, but this is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like you have separated either you walked away or this person walked away Taurus. And now you're in this place of like, well, what do I do with my life right now? Like, where do I, how do I pick myself up? How do I keep moving forward? And spirits kind of coming through and with the hangman coming, like the hangman coming up for you guys, spirits kind of coming through and saying, well, you kind of don't have a choice. Like I kind of split you guys up for two reasons. Either this person's time in your life has come to an end and you have to accept it and kind of realize that there's um, a lesson in that. And then I feel like maybe you were putting too much into the relationship and not getting enough back. So spirit is separating you guys right now, kind of so that you can kind of find yourself again. And for others, it's because your paths are different. Like you guys aren't in alignment with each other anymore. It's like spirit saying, you know, you need to make a choice right now. You need to make a decision. You have something coming into your life. And, and this could be what I'm feeling, Taurus, is that spirit, this is you. And spirit's giving you two options. Spirit's saying, okay, well, this is what you can do. You can go towards a new beginning. Or you can go back and you can deal with that. Same, like, you can go back and you can deal with the same situation that I just took you out of. Or you can move on and you can move into this new chapter, this new journey or this new direction or this new choice or whatever. 
and you can move into that and you and you can find yourself again and you can rebuild yourself because I don't know, I'm, I'm just feeling like you weren't able to be yourself with whoever you have separated from. That's coming up really strong for me. So Spirit's saying like, choose this path wisely because you're going to be the one that has to deal with the ending results. So a lot of you are really thinking right now. A lot of you are really daydreaming, you know. There's something about, well, with the Seven of Cups coming up, guys, I feel like, okay, so it's six days, six months, six years that this person has been connected to you somehow. Huh. I don't want to say, like, you know, it could be that you've gone through a lot of partners. Maybe you've gone through six different partners. And you're kind of at this point now or Taurus where you're like, well, I've already had this relationship and that relationship and that relationship and that relationship. Like I, what's the point of going through another one, right? Well, you still, Spirit's kind of saying, well, you still have a cup that I'm willing to offer you. But it's going to take you making a choice. It's going to take you making a decision. It's going to take you letting go of something. So you got to decide if being in this three stars energy, feeling, you know, heartbroken, feeling confused, feeling lost, feeling alone. And spirit's like, I took you away from that. I, I showed you and I, I took you out of that. And now I'm giving you an option. Do you want to go back to that? Or do you want to go into something new? And you're in this place of some of you are, you're definitely like, okay, oh, hey, I'm going to take this different path because I want to find out what else is out there. And some of you want more and some of you want, want to be more than what you've been. But for some of you, I really believe that you're having a hard time walking away because you feel like there's not going to be anything better because you feel like you've already gone through so many different lessons or so many different offers already, or you've already been through so many different relationships, but spirit saying, it may feel like you've been through a lot and, and you probably have, but there was a lesson in each of those relationships. I feel like there's definitely a really strong um, businesswoman coming through. So you could be doing something in the business world running your own business, um, running your own business from home it could be anything, but that with the queen of pentacles coming up, I feel like this is a really like, you're trying to figure out how do you balance your family, your work, your life, your relationships, your children, like you have to be the one that's holding down the fort right now. So it's like, how do I hold down the fort? and hold down a relationship? How do I hold down the fort and find happiness? And Spirit's kind of saying, like, with the Queen of Wands coming up, like, you hold the power right now. You can make this choice. You can find a balance. You just got to believe. You got to have trust. You got to have faith. You got to bring some fire back into your life because for whatever reason, the person you were dealing with, they took that flame away from you. They took that energy away from you. They took that, that spark or whatever it was. They, they took something from you. So spirit saying like, you've got to be independent right now. You have choices. Yes, but you have to be independent. You've got to release. There's something in your role that you need to release with the four of wands. Some of you, you know, you could be going to a ceremony of something. You can meet someone there. For others of you, it just goes back to family and commitments with the Six of Cups. Balance, love, children. You know, you could be looking at this situation and saying, you know what? Do I want this for my children? Do I want something better for my kids? Or if you don't even have kids yet, do, would you want to bring kids up in that toxic environment, Taurus? Because again, we have so many family cards, children cards right now, 10 of cups. 
So while you're sitting there not sure of something, while you're sitting there, you know, holding your children because you know that the love is there, you know that when all else fails, you may not have someone, you may have to walk away from someone, you may not have someone in your corner as a relationship, but you do have some type of family or some type of friends or your children, you know you have your children because it's coming up really strong for you guys. And I feel like at this moment in your life, you're kind of at this point where you're like, you know what? I'm so done. I'm so done. I'm so done feeling heartbroken. I'm so done feeling lost. I'm so done feeling like I'm not worth it. I'm so done feeling alone. I'm just going to hold on to what matters. I'm going to love what I have in my life right now. And I'm going to let everything else unfold. And it's going to unfold. We have the wheel card. So this is talking about those new cycles. This is talking about the progress. This is talking about a wrap up. Spirit's like, I'm about to wrap this up. I'm about to make this decision for you. And you might not like my decision, but I'm about to make it for you unless you do it. Unless you really sit down and ask yourself, you know, what is the most important thing to me right now? Because it's not that. I'll guarantee you that. It's not where you've been. Things are coming to a closure, guys, but you need to walk away. Walk away from some situation that is keeping you from expanding. It's keeping you from growing. You're not who you used to be. And that's not a bad thing. We grow through each lesson that we learn. We grow all the time. But are you growing in the right? Are you growing for the right reasons? Are you staying for the right reasons? Are you are you setting healthy boundaries for yourself? All right. So your Oracle card, you guys got Mer Merlina. It says, you are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information. Do research or seek expert advice before making a decision. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. It says, you have felt like you were chasing your tail looking at this option, then that option. See, choices. This indecisiveness is exhausting you. Dear one, the reason why you're so confused is that you do not have enough information to make an informed decision. Your choices appear too similar right now, but once you conduct additional research, your decision will become more clear. First, begin by asking God and the angels to enter your dreams and give you more information. Then ask your feelings to give you guidance. This means imagining what it would feel like to make this decision. Then imagine what it would feel like to make the other choice. Go deep within and notice how your body reacts as you try on the different options. If your gut or jaw tightens, this is a sign that something isn't right. If your heart flutters with warmth, this is a sign you are on the right path. Before making your final decision, seek the counsel of wise friends and teachers who experience and intuition can guide you. I think that was a perfect card for this reading, guys, because not only is is that has so much meaning but it's you're so indecisive about something and that I actually was trying to find the word that I was trying to come out and tell you guys but I like it wasn't coming so I'm glad that it's coming through because you are confused about something you are indecisive about something and you really need to make a decision Taurus all right and I feel like that decision is going to happen in August towards the end all right so Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me know how this resonates. I'm sending you guys all love and light, and I'll see you guys in September. Take care, Taurus.